All right, let's pra practice with the product to sum formulas for our trigonometric expressions. We want to rewrite this trigonometric expression as either a sum or difference. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna identify we have sine multiplied by cosine. That's pointing us towards this formula in the very top right-hand side. Um, as we get moving forward on this, I think it's always important to identify this is gonna be our alpha and this is gonna be our beta as we fill into the formula for alpha and for beta. So let's jump right in. The formula says this is gonna be one half multiplied by big set of brackets and then sine of alpha plus beta. In our case, that's gonna be eight X plus four X plus sine of alpha minus beta. So eight X minus four X, close my brackets off. Now, all we have to do is reduce this down. So some reducing we can do is, I'm gonna bring the one half along for the time being. We can just combine these like terms and say, well, eight X's plus four more makes 12 X's plus bring along the sign, eight X's minus four X's leaves us with four X's. The very last thing we may wanna do is distribute this one half that was out in front of the whole thing. So maybe my final, final answer is gonna be one half multiplied by sine of 12 X plus one half multiplied by sine of four X. Um, these numbers that are inside attached to the X's like the 12 and the four are not allowed to be brought outside. And kind of the same thing, this one half that's on the outside. So we'll leave our final answer just like that. Um, getting used to these formulas takes a little bit of practice, but you can get there, just keep practicing.